There must be more clues in Lee's office at Feast. Remember when Spider-Man had a sidekick? The Black Cat, a curvaceous young lady in leather. Not the kind you'd bring home to mother. And then it turned out she was a thief. Big shock, right? Well, I hear she's back. And let me make a prediction. Spider-Man's going to give her a second chance. Is it because he's naive? A thief himself? Or is he just thinking with his web shooters? Spider-Man, I know you're listening, so let me issue a warning now. As the old saying goes, lie down with cats, get up with fleas. What's that? <laughs> my intern is yammering in my ear again. It's dogs? I thought it was cats. It doesn't matter. The metaphor still applies. Dogs, cats, go away, Jared. We have an active bomb threat. Please mobilize towards Flatiron. Over. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. Might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Hey, I heard you were at City Hall for the bombing. You okay? Just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it.
Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. A key. Wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Hiding, Lee. Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon until he became one. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. This article is decades old. It must be back when Oscorp was first founded. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. Lee was keeping tabs on Wilson Fisk, too. Trying to predict when he'd fall.
is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance, but he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Creepy. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. One more. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait! I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool, see ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, 
I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by. Just for a minute. These guys weren't so hostage happy. Over here. Thank you. My husband, <laughs> thank you. Thing. My kids, thank you. Keep the perimeter You're tight. Don't hero. want civilians mugging up the scene. into a war zone. Not on my watch. So are you guys terrorists or criminals? Because I can't keep it straight. Sable ought to put me on the payroll. and we can start a pro wrestling league.
demons are getting bold. But it was fun. I've been a fan for like years. <laughs> when a regular high five won't do. Woo! So great. You're the best. New James Thank you. Thank you. The new James. I'm telling you. That's it. Everyone okay? Demons fight like men possessed. Good one. Don't mention it, officer. Like me, I can't let him kill each other. Fool me, Mr. Gruff Exterior. I know you love me, and I love you back. Firefights at military checkpoints. Not quite the New York I remember.
What's the situation, officer? Another set of bombs rigged by the demons. Disable the primary device. Then use the arming key to kill the secondary. Giddy up! Think about the block of C4, this is wired to. Happy to help, officer. Stay safe. I have to tell you, Triple J, I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but after the city hall bombing, I gotta admit, you were right. A lot of people have been telling me that, congratulating me, but I don't want to congratulate you. I would have loved to have been wrong. Better yet, for those in a position of power to have listened to me and done something. They didn't, and I'm not sure they'll listen now. Unless concerned citizens like you and I make ourselves impossible to ignore. Stand up! Take your city back! That's the only way we can ever be sure that justice will be done. That and listening to me every day. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead... We gave people something they've never seen. Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. 
Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were, when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. What's that? Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. I wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. I can't believe I've never tried that. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'd be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls.
got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. You are not going to believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We build this war beast for Lee. Lee finances the boss's Yo, new Rick. venture. Boss, win, win. Talk to you. Get in here. Well, you better clean your Need to get into that, that office. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. What's going on? 
Easy does it. Nothing here. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. What's in these? It won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. A disappointment. And now I need a new welder. Building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were... Pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. 
So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman? No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Ah. Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners. Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. <laughs>